run you through a little calculation of how I get to the pulley diameter and what horsepower I might expect from that. I made a decision last night. I'm going to have one machined. What I'm doing with this engine is completely unique. I mean, there's there's no application out there like it, at least as far as I can tell, which is why I need a custom crank pulley. That's just what it comes down to. Let's see what kind of crank pulley diameter we need. So there's first couple specs that are important. We're talking about the C38-91. It has a 90,000 RPM peak. And that max pressure ratio, which I'm gonna call PR, is 2.94. And I'll get to what all this means in a minute. Uh, it also has a drive ratio of... One to seven point five. This is peak, 90,000 is peak. 2.94 is peak. That means since this is belt driven, it is RPM dependent, it is engine RPM dependent. And therefore, boost does not start off at peak at low RPM, it builds. If I were gonna run the engine around at its peak RPM range, which right now I'm assuming to be somewhere around 6,000 RPM, then that's where I would achieve my peak boost. But there's a few design considerations for this. I am going to be driving this as a street car. I don't intend to be revving around at 6,500 RPM all the time. What I would like to do is take advantage of as much boost in the mid RPM range as possible. The cam and the heads are already designed for that. This engine is designed to be a pretty good optimal balance of torque and horsepower, and it's supposed to be you know, drivable from say 1500 RPM to about 5000 or 5500 RPM. That's, that's the optimal band. We want to be moving around in 1500 to 5500 RPM, and therefore that's when I want the supercharger to peak. But that doesn't mean I want the supercharger to be operating 90,000 RPM at say 5000 RPM. I want it to be operating the most efficient range. And what's the most efficient range? Well, that's completely dependent on something called boost map. But what you can see here is the most efficient range is in this sort of upper region here. And that uh, that's within a 50,000 to 70,000 uh, impeller speed RPM for the C38. And that corresponds to a pressure ratio range from about 1.5 to 2.0. And that white island here in the center is when it's most efficient. It's about 75% efficient. That's its peak adiabatic efficiency, which means at that range, you're getting the best boost with the least amount of heat. So optimal range. It's 50,000 to 70,000 RPM for the power. And that corresponds to a 1.5 to 2.0 pressure ratio. Now I could get more boost out of it, but I'm also going to generate more heat as I go up to higher RPM. So the pulley diameter is judged by an equation, and this is in the Rotrex technical handbook. So they give you this, they say the RPM of the impeller equals RPM times the pulley diameter at the crank times the ratio, drive ratio of the supercharger, all divided by the pulley diameter of the supercharger. Move this around to get the pulley diameter of the crank, and the pulley diameter of the crank is... I call PD crank. Equals RPM of the impeller times the pulley diameter of the supercharger divided by the RPM of the engine times the ratio of the supercharger. I'm not looking at 90,000 RPM here. I'm looking at 50,000 to 70,000. And uh, the pulley diameter of the supercharger already knows, 100 millimeters. The RPM of the engine, I know what my range is. It's going to be 1,500 to 5,500 RPM. The ratio of the supercharger is already given to me. It's one to 7.5. Let's look at the case of where I'm kind of at the top RPM band of the engine. So say I'm at 5,500 RPM. Therefore, what would I be targeting? Let's say I wanna, at 5,500 RPM, I wanna be at about the peak efficiency of the supercharger. So let's say 70,000 RPM of the impeller. That means that the pulley diameter of the crank optimized for this scenario corresponds to 70,000 RPM at the impeller times 100 millimeters divided by 5,500 RPM at the engine times the uh, 1 to 7.5 ratio. Let's do the math. 169 millimeters, which is divided that by 25.4 millimeters per inch, 6.6 inches. Let's look at the other part of the range. Like, what if I wanted some good boost right off of idle? like around 1500 RPM. And, and this this could be, you know, physically unrealistic. 
So that comes out to 444 millimeters, which is a monstrous pulley. That is 17.4 inches. <laughs> okay, so I'm never gonna have a 17.4 inch crank pulley. So realistically, my pulley diameter is gonna be somewhere between six and a half and seven. I'm gonna say this, 6.6 .6 inches is my pulley diameter, and that's how I should design the whole system. So, but this is the fun part, because this is the number that we all care about. It turns out, the pressure ratio is equal to the horse, horsepower with the supercharger divided by the horsepower of the engine before boost times 1.15. So if you back saw for this, you get uh, the horsepower of the engine with the supercharger is equal to the horsepower of the engine without boost times the pressure ratio divided by 1.15. So if I assume that this engine is at best like a 280 horsepower engine, Let's just say 280. 280. The pressure ratio, we are somewhere in the 1.5 to 2 range. So let's look at the low end. Pressure ratio of uh, 1.5 divided by 1.15. And then we'll look at the high, high end. So this is low. This is high. The high end is 280 times 2.0 divided by 1.15. 365 horsepower. 486. If I design this with the 6.6 .6 inch pulley, I'm gonna be somewhere in the 365 to 486 horsepower range. That's quite a range, but the average of that is about 400. And that's what I want.